I always admired Jeff. I mean, I met him 20 years ago or so, and, and, and I thought he was something special, but I didn't realize you could go from books to what, what's happened there. No, I, I mean, he had a vision and executed it in an incredible way. As Charlie has said, all investing is value investing. I mean, you're, you're, you're putting out some money now to get more later on, and you're making a calculation as to the probabilities of getting that money and when you'll get it and what interest rates will be in between, and all the same calculation goes into it whether you're buying some bank at 70% of book value or you're buying Amazon at some very high multiple of reported earnings. Amazon, the people making the decision on Amazon are absolutely as much value investors as I was when I was looking around for all these things selling below working capital uh, years ago. So that has not changed. The, the two people that, one of whom made the investment in Amazon, they are looking at many hundreds of securities and they can look at more than I can because they're managing less money and their, their universe possible universe is, 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 is uh, greater, but they are looking for things that they feel they understand what will be developed by that business between now and Judgment Day and cash. They are absolutely following value principles. They don't necessarily agree with each other or agree with me, but they are very smart. They are totally committed to Berkshire. and. They're, they're, they're very good human beings on top of it. Warren and I are a little older than some people. And yeah, they're everybody. <laughs> and we're not the most flexible, probably, in the whole world. And, of course, if something as extreme as this Internet development happens and you don't catch it, why, other people are going to blow by you. And I don't mind not having caught Amazon early. The guy is kind of a miracle worker. It's very peculiar. I, I give myself a pass on that. Jeff Bezos has talked about that in Amazon. He said, look, at, with Amazon, he said, we needed the internet. Somebody else spent billions of dollars developing it, but it wouldn't have worked without the internet. He said, we needed transportation. Somebody else had already built railroads and UPS and all of that sort of thing. And he, see, he said, we needed payment systems. That would take billions of dollars to build, but that had already been done by Visa and all along the line. So he took three huge requirements where the other guys had spent the money, and then he combined them in a way that he didn't have to spend the money. You have and talked, it's brilliant. I give him great credit you, for it. You have talked extensively over the last several days, even the last several months, about how Jeff Bezos is the best business leader you think we have right now in the United States, about how Amazon is a brilliant company. Um, and now you're talking about how it's one of five companies that take no capital to continue to build. How come you don't buy shares of Amazon? Stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, w I was impressed with Jeff early. I never thought he could pull off what he did. And what's really, I, I mean, I thought he could pull off something, but, but on the scale that, that has happened, I mean, it's changed your behavior. You know, it's, it's changed everybody in the office's behavior. And the remarkable thing about Jeff uh, and everything else is he's, a, he's done it in two industries almost simultaneously that really don't have that much connection. I've never seen any person develop two really important industries at the same time and really be the operational guy in both. And he's done a good job with the Washington Post on the side, just on it personally. But, but here you take cloud services. I mean, he... And there was a Charlie Rose show on this uh, that he did three or four months ago. He thought he would have two years of runway. He got seven years. You do not want to give Jeff Bezos a seven-year head start. Before in, the competitors in, jumped in, in, in any on cloud services. Race. So the same time he's, he's, he's shaking up the whole retail world, he's also shaking up the IT <laughs> world simultaneously. And, and uh, you know, I take my hat off to him.